Should I continue going straight ahead? Yes, please. Thank you very much. Today's video. Foes stops behind a park van. Will she pass or fail? I have to take the left hand side because that one goes right. Correct. Well done for reading your road markings. What else can you see? Um, not really much. What are those men doing? <laughs> No idea. Read the sign on that van for me, please. Oh no, this is a parked van. My name's Scott and I'm here to help you pass your driving test first time. I will be talking you through every step of this mock test, so let's go. Okay, lovely. <laughs> Alright, foes, uh, we're going to start your mock test now. So like I mentioned before, driving 45 minutes, doing a reverse exercise, emergency stop. Uh, what I f forgot or failed to mention is the show me tell me questions. Yeah. So I'm just going to ask you a tell me question before we get started. Okay. Would you tell me what's the road legal tyre requirements, please? Um, it should be 1.66 mm in depth. Okay. And there should be no cuts or bulges. Lovely. Thank you very much. Okay. Now we have had somebody just park in front of us here. Okay. So I'm going to ask you to reverse. It isn't something that we've done before, but you have done on previous lessons. Yeah. So just to let you know that reverse is on the right. And if you push up, that'll put you into reverse. Okay. Yeah. Take your time when you're ready and it's safe. I'd like you just to reverse back roughly a car length, please. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Just so we've got enough room to move off. Let me just place the car into. I can leave it and drive. That's fine. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to start the sat nav. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start your mock test. We're mm -hmm. going to start your independent drive, which is quite common. So you'll start most tests with the mock, um, with the independent drive. Okay? okay. Just give me a second. It's probably going to say a little bit of talking. If this is a part too close. You will arrive at your destination at 12.25 p.m. So we're going to be following the sat nav for roughly 20 minutes. Okay. If you're not too sure about any directions, you are allowed to ask your examiner or myself, and we will try our best to help you with the directions if it's safe. Okay? okay. Are you happy with this distance before you drive off, or would you like to reverse a bit more? I think I'd like to reverse a bit more. Sure. When you're ready, if it's safe, just reverse back as much as you need, and then we'll drive on afterwards. Thank you. I think this much would be enough. Okay, take your time. When you're ready and it's safe, drive on and follow the sat nav, please. Six way check. So, as Foz just stated, she's doing her six point check, all round observations, signalling before moving off so that she knows all round is clear of any hazards. She's acting on the information she's seen, applied the signal to help or benefit anybody that may see it and moved off safely. Excellent start. Taking the road conditions into account, we are roughly driving down the center of the road. This will provide a safety bubble of roughly one meter all the way around the vehicle, which is the safest position to be driving in with the road conditions we have. Less space, less speed. At the speed. end of the road, turn right, Chamberlain Way, then take the second left. Did you notice how Foz has checked her interior mirror and exterior mirror before signalling? Turn right, this is the correct take routine the to take left. when you've been directed to turn at any junction. We have a closed junction here. What does a closed junction mean to you? Has anyone ever taken the time to explain to you what this means? So you're about to see a few good examples of a closed junction. This means your visibility Turn is severely left. impaired, usually by parked cars. The method you would need to take to emerge out safely at a closed junction is the peep and creep routine. This means you would have to move your vehicle out gently forwards until your visibility is increased to the point where you would know it was safe to walk out into the road. If you can walk out, 
you can drive out. At this point, you would know it's safe to fully emerge at the junction and complete your turn. The next junction is a closed junction. Foz does an excellent job of her peep and creep routine. She does receive a minor fault here because when Foz emerges out to turn left, the rear left tire of the vehicle goes over the pavement on the left. After 200 yards, turn right, Chena Street, then take the second left. Turn right, then take the second left. Look at the road markings up ahead. We have been directed to turn right. You are allowed to drive on the hatch markings in the center of the road. The lines are broken. This means there are gaps in between the white lines. This is totally necessary for you to drive on top of these white lines, providing it's safe to do so, so that your car has a nice straight position in the center of the road before you turn. This will allow the main road traffic to flow freely around your vehicle if you have to stop and wait before turning right. After 200 yards, turn left, Barnhill. What is a safe distance to keep from pedestrians? As you've noticed, there's no pavement on this road, similar to a country lane. Have you seen the warning triangle coming up? What is this warning you of? If you were controlling the vehicle around a long right hand bend, what would be the safest position to steer your vehicle on this road? Foes incurs a minor fault here as she steers into the center of the road around a right hand bend. This will decrease her visibility and also put her in a position which is particularly dangerous if there is an oncoming vehicle. This would increase the risk of an accident. Make sure you keep your position one meter from the left as a minimum from any hazard. This will also give you better visibility. And if there is a vehicle oncoming, put your car in a safe position to decrease any risk of an accident. Did you notice the oncoming vehicle? Would you have slowed and stopped as Foes has done? Did you notice she checked her interior and right mirror before emerging around the parked vehicle after the oncoming vehicle had passed? What's happening here? Notice how Foz receives another minor fault for the exact same reason as before. She positioned into the center of the bend. Okay, Foz, uh, I'd like you to find a convenient place to pull up on the left, please. If you were a driving examiner, what would you have given Foz for the last right bend and her position as there was an oncoming vehicle? Would you have given her a major fault or a minor fault? Okay, lovely. We're going to continue to follow the sat nav, so when you're ready and it's safe, drive on, please. At the end of the road, turn right, Bridal Road. Amazing observations here from Foes. Notice how she creeps forwards gently and continues to observe in both directions. Really smooth, excellent junction. Well done, Foes. <laughs> Okay, what I'm going to ask you to do now mm -hmm. uh, is actually just move up until there's about a car length between you and the vehicle in front. Okay. So when it's safe, if you just edge up forwards till you get to the next parked vehicle, but leave about a car length between you and that vehicle, okay. keeping to the left, okay? When it's safe, move on. Foes receives another minor fault here. Would you move off with vehicles passing you on the main road? Do you believe this is a safe time to drive away? Is this about a car length or yeah, should I get closer? Fine. That's okay. Thank you. Alright, when you're ready, we're going to continue to follow sat nav. Drive on if it's safe to do so, please. After 90 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Field End Road. Very good from Foes here, checking her mirrors, signalling left, 
positioning into the correct lane. Now slowing to roughly a jogging speed, observing to the right, see that it's clear and proceeding to turn left at the roundabout. Well done. I just follow the road ahead to the traffic light and then the directions that the sat nav will give you for the traffic light is turning right. Okay. I'm just going to clarify that. When we reach the traffic lights, I'd like you to turn right, please. Okay. Thank you. Anything else that you can mention about this junction for anybody that yeah. might be watching? Because we're going to turn right, so we have to stop halfway in the street okay. and wait for these cars to go straight ahead, and then we can turn. Very nice, good feedback, and um, that'd be very helpful for people that are watching. Um, I'm doing my best not to mention stuff like that because you're on oh. one test, but it's good if you do, yeah. And it only should be two cars maximum in the turn right Elm Avenue. So if you're a third car, you have to wait That's on the good, traffic light. Good advice, well done. Okay, foes, that is the end of your independent driving. Okay. I'd like you to take the next road on the left. How'd you find that left turn? Difficult. Why? Because it was very steep and the, the street is very narrow, so kind of felt. Foes received a minor fault here for awareness and planning. Did you notice the oncoming vehicle? Have you seen the big gap between us and the lead vehicle? Fortunately for Foes, the oncoming traffic has been patient, yet we forced the vehicle to move out of the way. This is why Foes receives a minor fault for her awareness and planning. So as an examiner, I can't give you that answer. Okay, that's why I'm staying quiet. I'm not being so rude. <laughs> it's just the way that the examiners will yeah. react to those questions. Okay. At the end of the road, turn right. I want to give you the best viewing pleasure and learning experience possible. You may be a subscriber to the channel already and viewed some of our other mock test videos where I'll use the 360 camera to pan, like at this junction, to the right and left so that the viewer can see when it's safe to drive out. If you find this footage more immersive and it helps you to learn, please write down in the comments below and I'll make this a regular feature. Is he letting us go through? No. To help me make the best videos for you, the viewer, please write down in the comments below if you don't care either way or if you prefer the video footage of a stationary camera just viewing the road ahead like this one. Safe, I'd like you to show me how you would beep the horn. Everybody's always nervous about beeping your horn. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Don't be nervous on your test when your examiner asks you to do that. You chose a good time. Yeah. There's no one oncoming. There's no pedestrians that's going to yeah. start or It's just you've been asked to do it by the examiner. So, well done. So, I'm just going to cross off that we've completed the show me tell me questions now. On the roundabout, turn right, third exit. It's important to know that when you're on your driving test, the examiner needs to mark down that certain parts of the driving test has been completed. 
So every time you notice the examiner has made a mark, do not let this distract you from your driving test and the road ahead, as this may just be that you've completed a certain section of the driving test and that this has been recorded, just like I did with the show me tell me questions. Should I continue going straight ahead? Yes, please. Thank you very much. Have to take the left hand side because that one goes right. Correct. Well done for reading your road markings. What else can you see? Um, not really much. What are those men doing? I have no idea. Read the sign on that van for me, please. Oh no, this is a parked van. Seeing the hazard warning lights from a distance and that the main road traffic was flowing round the parked vehicle will greatly increase your awareness and planning. Try rewinding the clip back if you didn't see this in time and see if you can see these clues early which will increase the flow of traffic and prevent you from stopping when not necessary. I said I had the blinkers on and I didn't even notice. At the roundabout, turn left. The best advice I can give any of my students when approaching a roundabout is the speed. If you approach the roundabout at a reasonable speed, from running to jogging to walking, this will increase the likelihood of you completing the roundabout safely. I'd like to take the next road coming up on the right. Pull over and stop on the right hand side of the road please, in a convenient place. When pulling over to the right or left, you will have plenty of space on your driving test. Do not pull over rapidly and immediately. Take a long, smooth, steady line to smooth and straighten the car to come to a nice slow stop. Okay. Now I need you to reverse back roughly two car lengths. Okay. Don't worry about driveways when you reverse back, so don't go on the driveway, but you can stop in front of a driveway. Okay. So we're going to go back roughly two car lengths, keep to this side of the road, and again, don't worry too much about stopping in front of a driveway if it's necessary. Okay? Yeah. When you're ready. I really like to help people with reverse parking, hence I bought a vehicle with a reverse camera which is allowed on the driving test. Technology is very useful and can be used on your driving test. If you'd like to have a more detailed description of all reverse parking exercises, view our channel playlist where you'll be given the full description and details to pass first time. Would this be about two car lengths? Or should I go a bit more? This is fine. This is no fine. problem. Are you happy to just finish off here? I don't mind if you're happy with your position. I am happy with my position, yeah. Okay. Alright, when you're ready and it's safe, Drive on, please. Sorry, turning right, please. Oh. Many candidates on the driving test will turn too early at this junction and into where the blue car was. Make sure you notice the single line when turning into a side road, as this is the point of entry. Double lines, give way lines, are where vehicles exit. Up on the left please, in a safe place. I think I went in the wrong end. And drive on when you're ready, please. I'd like to take the next road on the right. Okay. 
judge an oncoming vehicle by its speed. If the oncoming vehicle is not slowing down, then you'll need to pull over and stop in a safe place to allow it to pass. This is the best way to assess a meeting situation. At the roundabout, take the first exit, turning left. Foz is extremely good at doing her MSPSL routine. Notice how she checks her mirrors first, signals accordingly second, positions where she needs to in order to complete the junction, slows down to a safe speed, and then looks accordingly to assess whether it's safe to emerge at the junction. Excellent job, folks. Okay, we're gonna be approaching two mini roundabouts. At the first roundabout, go straight ahead. And at the second roundabout, turn right. We have two mini roundabouts very close to each other. Foz stops when it's not necessary at both mini roundabouts. The traffic on the opposite side of the roundabout we'll call a blocker car. On this occasion, the car that now crossed the roundabout stopped the flow of traffic on the right, which is the side we would normally stop for and give priority to. Because that traffic's been blocked, if timed correctly, we can use the blocker car as an entry point to the roundabout. This happens again now, slightly more clearly. Notice the traffic crossing the roundabout from the left is stopping the traffic on the right from entering. This would give us an opportunity to enter into the roundabout and make progress. At the end of the road, turn left. This is the way we came up from Test Center. That's correct, yes. Take the next right. Lots of people can be confused at the next junction. Remember we talked about the road markings. Double lines, giveaway lines, which you can see here, and then a single line, which is the entrance point to this side road. Don't let this happen to you and look for road markings to prevent confusion. I'd like you to take the next road on the right, please. Foz has almost completed her mock test. How do you think she did? If you enjoy the way I edit these videos, please give me some valuable feedback in the comment section down below as this helps me to make the best videos to entertain you and also to help you learn and teach you how to pass your driving test first time. Make sure to subscribe for future mock test videos and like if I've given you any value. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next mock test video. So I'd like you to pull over in the next parking space coming up on the left where we actually started the mock test. Okay. To find out whether Foz passed or failed her mock test and listen to the full debrief, you'll need to click the card on screen now. See you there.